We are the band. You, you are, are a toy. toy. You watch EG on TV. Uh, introduce yourselves one by one and what your role in the band is. Um, you can go, you can go first. Hi, I'm Nick. Uh, I'm the stage right guitarist. <laughs> He lifts weights. Sometimes. 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 Somet
Yeah, that was the yeah, Is it Fahrenheit? It's no, Fahrenheit. Okay. Okay. No, it's the Fahrenheit. Yeah. Fahrenheit. It doesn't exist anymore. Well, the building's there, but it's not Fahrenheit. So you get to a show. So we yeah. get to a show, and Sean's got to do the talking to try and get us on the show. And we were there waiting so long trying to figure out if we were going to play that night or not. Right. We had drove, and we were there with our touring package to play the show with them. And we get in there, and it's taken forever to get a word back. The guy just won't give us an answer straight up, yes or no. He could have said yes or no. He didn't say either. Oh, so at this point, I'm like, well, he did say no. Yeah. So while Sean's got him occupied, talking to him, I'm behind them. I'm walking behind them like some Scooby-Doo episode, <laughs> loading the gear in <laughs> okay. behind them. And I was just like, by the end of it, we were set up on stage, ready to go. And we were the first band, and we are like, we're here. And then just talked him into a show. Yeah, we just talked. And we played for like five like, people, I think, that night. And we played first, and there wasn't anybody there. The bartenders and one other band. Okay. We, <laughs> we played the show, and you wouldn't have gotten there without being rebellious. No. So. Literally, we're, well, you're on a touring package. Like, you can buy the tours, you can book them yourself, or you can hope. Hope, hope that someone likes you, hope you notice, hope you got an uncle with someone else, you know. So we're we're at that point just hoping we're going. So we put this tour with this band. So basically we'd show up at like three or four venues in a row, and the venue people would be like, We don't have you on the bill, and we're like, We're from freaking three hours away, we're here. You know? right, right. So you get mad at like the whole thing where you're like, You're booked on this tour, you're not supposed to be that you're looking at your management, you know, right. the problem. But yeah, like rebellious. We literally got to a place where it was either we're driving away from here, PO'd, and we didn't play, or we're driving away from here, PO'd, and we just played. <laughs> so, you know, we literally, like, I'm the businessman, you know, I'm talking to this guy, and got the promoter basically away from him long enough. Wow. wow. Talk face with Nick and come in and we're loading in. By the time wow. he even told us anything, yes or no, we sound checked. <laughs> <laughs> so, at that time, I had disagreed, like, we're playing the show. Uh, you know? So, yeah. rebellious, like, you, if you're a touring band from freaking here, you cannot go out if you're not a rebel. It won't work. Mm -hmm. You will get shut down somewhere in freaking Lansing, Michigan. You know, it's just, you can't. You have to. Go. Mm -hmm. you know, it's, 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 well, it's good though that you guys put yourselves out there to really take risks. Yeah. Dick yeah. Annabelle. His, his real name is Dick. Oh, I'll call him okay. Nicholas because no one wants to go Richard. 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 Yeah, this is Dick. Wait, I'm Can I call you Dick? Rich, Richard Dick Annabelle. <laughs> No, his, his, his name is Nick. <laughs> his name is Nick. I'm confused if you're joking or if you're serious. <laughs> that's, 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 that's a joke. That's a joke. Yeah, I was like, wait. No, like, okay. That was early on, so I'm meeting him. Like, it was probably the first tour we did together. I'm just like, this yeah. dude's. He did. I was like, this gangster. We just loaded this in this piece. We're playing. I'm like, all right. That's how you want to get a teammate. I'm like, all right, we're in this. Right, right. Rebel all the way. <laughs> I think you, you guys, I, I mean, it's obvious, um, even before uh, taping, um, you guys have this really close bond. You guys are just, um, uh, what if, it's, it's a family. Almost. It's That's a family. Right. It's a family. That's a good way of, of putting it. <laughs> it's like a brotherhood. We're right, brothers. right. We, we fight on Facebook. <laughs> and we, yeah, yeah, we, we can yeah, fight. We can yeah. fight. And we meet up every Monday and squash the beef. It's, yes, okay. yes. it's, so, it's yes. like having four older brothers. It really is. Oh, yeah. really is. Or your mother is. Yeah, I was going to say you're old. Depending on your perspective. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that's good. You guys have such a close dynamic. <laughs> well, Nick, yeah. and I, Nick and I are roommates. Okay. And I'm, I'm oh, married. Really? I've yeah, got a wife. Really really you know, for three or four years, I've got three little kids. I've also got a wife and kids. Nick, no, Nick has a wife and kids, we okay. share sure like <laughs> kids. Okay, so family is literally like family. family. Yeah. Like, I'll, I'll do like, <laughs> our practice tonight, my wife comes out and says, hey, can you watch Donovan, my three-year-old? I gotta run. I said, yeah, well, we're going to BG to record this interview. And like, it's okay, so luckily it's not here. But no, it is, it is literally family. Like, you will hate the people you're in a band with, you go crazy, and you gotta decide if they're worth it. Nice. At the end of the day, for most of them aren't. In our two-year existence, we've gone through an alphabet that we anybody could have easily just said, "No, that's it, we have been done." But it's it's when you get through that stuff that's how you know that you might have something. So yeah, so far we've weathered all that. I'm here. These people might not be here a couple of years, but also I'm here. 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 I'm here.
this heyday where they're like, you know, brothers and, and, and family. But then uh, well, eventually. Yeah, it's whole honeymoon for a while. Yeah. And then, yeah. Well, do, do you guys think that, yeah. like, that'll happen to you? Like, one day? I, I hate to get kind of like. I, I think we're just kind of hit that. I was going to say, if we have a honeymoon The honeymoon is over. The honeymoon is over. We drove from Toledo. We're that old married bickering couple. We drove from Toledo, Ohio to the beach and Treasure Island in Tampa, Florida to record our CD like two years ago. Spent two years doing this, getting it all ready for release. Is at this point, like, you don't want to hear the songs, you don't want to see these people, you wish that he would be done in the bathroom, you know, like, you wish you could use your roommate's bathroom at this point, where it's just like, dude, we're so invested in this, like, there's no way out, you know, like, we're, like literally as a band, like, there's a lot of people who live together, but no, if you do it for a long enough time, it's just, there's no difference, you know, you're asking where we want to play, what our goals are, like, we're just bucket listing it, you know, we're at this point in life able to say, like, well, we want to go to university, or we want to go to, like, we can do that now. Right. Because we've dealt with enough people's crap and each other's crap for so yeah. long, we still. Yeah. True. So, have you guys always been into music? Like, did it come from a young age, or like, did you fall into music? Yeah, my uh, my career is pretty interesting. I went through a I want to be a pop singer oh, okay. phase. I was. I didn't even know that. <laughs> <laughs> my parents My parents grew me up on country and rock and roll. That's what my dad was playing. He played guitar. So I grew up with that, yes, very young age I grew up with that. I had my little Mickey Mouse drum set okay. on, on stage with my dad's band. So, But then I went through this weird pop phase where I was watching NSYNC and everything on Disney Channel. I was like, ba, ba, ba. <laughs> he looks the part still. I mean, right away, right. Band, but, you know, I was just upset. I don't know, for me personally, it was always since I was like really little, like before school, I would grow up on like Elvis and Frank Sinatra and Dean Martin in like 50s. And a little bit of jazz, a little bit of, like honestly, when I was a kid, the heaviest thing I listened to was Alice Cooper. Mm -hmm. oh. And as I got That's older, I got more into yeah, right. Got more into uh, rock and roll and alternative. And then like right in like my preteens, I got super into grunge and Nirvana. That's when I started picking up guitar. I mean, before that, I always wanted to be a singer, and I was like, oh, I want to grow up and be like Elvis and you know, sing and have like that you know, like, Deep voice. You have I, a, I got the voice. You have a unique <laughs> deep voice, that's for sure. Yeah, and, and I mean, ever since I was, you know, real little, I was like, music, for sure. And then when I got, like I said, my preteens, I got heavy into like alternative rock and grunge, and I taught myself guitar from learning how to play Nirvana songs, and Lefty like Kurt Cobain too, so it's really cool. Then classic rock, and then I got into like really heavy stuff, and kind of just blossom from there pretty much. I'm curious to see how else. that question, that question, I want to see how that plays out in the your show. Because I think yeah. it's really interesting yeah. because like, being introverted, yeah, you hear it like, but I always, my mom always told me, or whoever was you know, special, you know, and stuff, you know, they been told that, but like, the majority of my friends are musicians, were told that, or maybe experienced some loss, some personal loss, but we knew, we just know. I think that that's, there are people that go through phases, maybe get out of it, but if you're in an entertainment or if it's whatever, there's something that you're just fortunate enough to know. Like, I knew at a young age, very young age, but I was in the I didn't know what to know. I didn't know how to play anything. <laughs> but I knew, you know, I think that but I think these guys are all saying the same thing. Like, I'm curious to see what everyone says. Like, no, I'm just hitting yeah. one day, but I feel like 99% will say, yeah, you were special, you were going to you know, That's just how it is. And that's good that you listen yeah. to that call. You guys all have a passion and you, like, execute on it. You know? Yeah. So, is there like anything else that you guys would like to say to the viewers about like an upcoming show or like a lasting message that you guys would like? Buy our merch so we can feed our families. Buy our merchandise so we can feed our families. Okay. Yeah, we have our debut album out. Uh, we well, have the differences. We have some, yeah, we have yeah. differences. Album just came out. We've played, I think, three shows with it. We have, what, four shows coming up very recently, very soon. We're going to be in Mansfield, Ohio. The tour uh, end of the month, September 29th. Pretty much, yeah. Tour Mark your calendars, guys. Another yeah. interesting yeah. thing. An interesting Get a pen and paper out. It's going to take a minute. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we got a few. Yeah, a couple. An interesting thing about our band that you guys might not know is we came up in Toledo with the entire Toledo circuit played it for about 10 years. We are one of the only Toledo bands to recently get a band. Oh. So we can't play in Toledo. Oh, we did wow. recover. We, we, uh, it's a long story. It's funny, but I used to run uh, several bars in Toledo. Basically, best friends had a, a spat, but our band is one of the only ones that have really been through a period where we went from bottom to top to band. You know, well, he runs sound at some of these places. You know, did it. But we've. 
like anything you bury in whatever it is. So professionally, we're no longer a band in Toledo. That might be something new you guys want to hear in Toledo. We just, we <laughs> just, uh, yeah, we're over here in BG territory right now. Let's, yeah, let's go. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, we go. No, no, as far as shows coming on, uh, <laughs> we have a lot. But the, we're, we're one of those, I don't know, we're, we're a band that's literally been through the gamut, I think. We have a long way to go. You might not see us next year. This year to come through. We would love to talk to you about if you ever have a chance. So it's yeah. been awesome to be here. We appreciate being the inaugural. And we're yeah, yeah. I don't know. There's too October, much to talk about. October 6th, we are trying to get on the show here. Yeah, always, yeah. right? Okay. okay. October 6th, okay. Potentially okay. October 20th or October 6th. Yes. Yeah. October no. 6th at Howard's. Nice. Now, uh, is there like a website or something we can put at the bottom of the screen just um, for more information about you guys? Or? Oh, or Facebook. Yeah, we don't Facebook. have a website yet. So Our Facebook page is probably the best way to do it. Okay. We're on okay. Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. For um, the last question, we kind of, I mean, Asia kind of touched on this before, but um, if there's, I mean, a little kid out there or even um, a grown person that, um, you know, has been trying to do the same things that you guys have been, you know, doing and um, trying to form a band or just trying to get out there and just kind of um, live their dream. Um, what type of advice would you give to them to kind of motivate themselves to, um, I guess, like make it happen? Um, people are scared. People are scared to do new things and we're all trying to fake it. We're all trying to get the same thing done. If you can pull that off without showing that you're scared, like our generation seems to have a problem with standing up you know sometimes but we're also the ones that do it so if you can do that realize that as a band if I'm on stage if there's 500 people or a thousand people they're, they're to me they're all introverted people they're all scared of stuff too maybe they're not scared of what I'm scared of but they wouldn't be there if they didn't want something different to happen you know so to me I look at everyone else as just an equal you know no matter what I respect people and get it where it's due but I'm not scared of anyone I'm not scared to fail. I'm not scared. Or, I don't think anyone's better at anything than me. I know that they are, but I don't think that way. You know? So don't be, don't be scared. Everyone's faking it too. Everyone, they're all faking it. Period. You know, we're just just fit in, man. <laughs> yeah. Give the kids some advice, for this. <laughs> Keep going. Don't like. I don't know. Say. I've had plenty of moments where I've wanted to stop. Or punch you, or you, or you in the face. <laughs> Especially me. Especially him. Yeah. Um, I have a very punchable face. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for coming on the show with us. And you were watching BG on TV. Have a great night. You are a toy. You are a toy. You are a toy. You are a toy. Be sure to check out You Are a Toy on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. Thanks for watching.